Goku and Zeno are pretty good friends. For some reason, Zeno's been around for billions of years, but he's never met someone quite like Goku. The reason the Omni King likes Goku so much is because everybody acts robotic around Zeno. The only one who acts natural is Goku, and the Omni King sees that and he appreciates it. So that's why he likes Goku so much. And on Goku's end, he's just kind of like that with anybody. He doesn't care if he's the Omni King. It's a similar thing to Hercule and Majin Buu. So what would happen if that got compromised? What if Goku died? To the person who caused Goku's death, what kind of eternal suffering would they have to face at the hands of the Omni King? Well, on the outside, while it may look like the Omni King would be sad, Zeno wouldn't actually care if Goku died. Despite all the things we see with Goku and Zeno, seeing them shake hands, being all buddy-buddy, there's good reason to say that Zeno would not care if Goku died. To the Omni King, there is no one on his level. He is looking down on everyone. And for the majority of the series, he only really likes Goku because he's this insanely talented fighter and it keeps him entertained. That's the reason he wants another tournament of power with even more powerful guys. Zeno has been doing this for billions of years. Although there's not many people like Goku, during those billions of years, you see things that most people don't. The amount of things that you would see during those billions of years, all of the death, murder, and corruption in the universe eventually it would just seem normal and that's kind of what we saw in the tournament of power when the Omni King was just erasing universes like he didn't care even though yeah of course he likes Goku to think he would care as much as say Majin Buu did when he saw Mr. Satan die is insane even though it's a kind of similar situation that they have Zeno was willing to erase Goku in the Tournament of Power. As his finger was hovering over that button, there was no remorse or any sadness. The reason people act like a robot around Zeno is because that is exactly what Zeno is. He is cold like a machine, and even though there are those times where he does get on with Goku, he was still willing to erase him, and his entire family, and his entire universe. As cold and machine-like as the Omni King is, the only time he would ever care if Goku died is if it was against his will. For example, there was a time when Zeno's guards actually rushed up on Goku, telling Goku to get away from Zeno. They were coming at Goku, ready to take him down, but Zeno told him to back off and not to touch Goku. In a situation where it goes against his will and he's right there, that is the only time he would ever care about his best friend Goku dying. And it is kind of sad because you do see such a great friendship between these two, but you've got to remember, the Omni King is not someone that you hang around with, like he's not your Krillins or your Master Roshis, he is by no means someone that you just hang out with. Goku knew that too, because when Zeno asked to play, Goku passed that off onto someone else, who ironically is the Omni King from the future. It is a tiny bit sad when you see these guys fist bump at the end of Super, but you realize Zeno could wipe out Goku and not feel anything at all, and maybe one day it might have to come to that. I saw something interesting the other day, it said, the Omni King says to Goku, kill one innocent person or never fight again. What would Goku choose, honestly? Would he retire to the mountains? Would he actually kill an innocent person? Or would that spark a very large war from Goku on the Omni King? Let me know what you think. Anyway, that is why the Omni King would not care if Goku died. He was willing to erase everything about him in the Tournament of Power. There is a reason everybody bows down to the Omni King, and it's because he can do what he wants, and being emotionally affectionate is clearly not one of these things. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next Dragon Ball video.